Hi, this is Dave Philippi with FabCAD, and today we're going to take a look at how you can change your dimensioning settings and the settings on the cut list. So, there's two different things you need to do here. To change your dimension settings, dimensions are in the annotation panel of this ribbon. When I do a pull down here, you've got these different styles. Now, this first one here, if you hold your mouse, it tells you this has to do with text. Second one is dimensions. Then there's leaders and tables. So let's click on the dimension. And here we're going to modify this particular setting because we don't want to have feet and inches. Let's say we want to have just inches. So feet and inches is architectural. So I do a pull down and then I can choose fractional. And then I can check my precision. If I'm in the 16th club or 32nd club, whatever club you're in, you set your precision there. You can also set precision for your decimal degrees. If you need to go to a more than one or two decimal places, you just set that here on this part of the dialog box. So then click OK and close. And you notice everything changes straight to inches. Now, for some of you, you may just find out that some people in your operation like feet and inches and some like inches. Well, you can actually display both. And the way to do that is to go back here and click Modify and go to Alternate Units. Now, normally this is used to create a metric dimension. So you notice the multiplier is 25.4, which is the metric multiplier for a millimeter over an inch. So it takes 25.4 millimeters to create an inch. If I want to display alternate units and instead of decimal, I want to put architectural, then I would change the multiplier to one because we don't want to change the actual units themselves. We just want to, we just want to change the display of them. And then the precision, we probably want to keep that the same as the other. So we'll make that a sixteenth. And then click OK and close. And now you have 180, then you get 15 feet. And over here you've got inches, and next to it, feet and inches. So you can do it either way. Now, to change the dimensions on the cut list, if you want these to come out as inches, you have to go to a different format to do that. And you need to go to Format and Units. And here you've got the same settings, architectural, and you can do architectural, and you can do fractional. So here we have architectural set up. So if you don't want architectural, you can just change it to fractional. We can set the degree dimensions there, too, if we want to. And then we just click OK. Now, to change this, we go up to the Auto Rail program and do a Bill of Materials update. And I'll pick this rail assembly here and click OK. And now these change two inches. So it's very simple to do this. You just go in to the Dimension Style dialog box here or go to Dimension and Dimension Styles here to change the dimension. Now you can also change uh, lines, uh, sizes of lines if you want to use a different type of arrow. There's um, all kinds of different choices for that little dots. Sometimes people like to use tick marks, architectural ticks, okay, different things like that. So you need to just scroll through here and, and take a look at the different options and you may find something that you'd like to add to enhance the look of your drawings. Take care. Bye.